guys it's Nyla welcome back to my channel so today I'm bringing y'all my first back to school video in my back to school series and y'all know it's always late because I go to school late and I can't really help it because I get everything later than everyone else does so I can't really film my videos earlier but I hope y'all enjoyed my last summer videos and I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and if you're a freshman I hope you have a great school year this year and everybody else too but especially to my freshmen it's your first year in high school it can be very nerve-wracking so i'm here to help y'all out tell y'all about my experience and the truth about high school so i do have a few sections or like segments for today's video first is going to be school of course my second one is going to be friendships my third one is going to be relationships my fourth one that's eight but my fourth one is going to be like extra like curriculars joining clothes making friends all that kind of like mixed in one and then i'm also going to do hygiene and then like my experience and i'm sorry about my ac y'all know my ac always turns on when i film so sorry about that but i know i want to get into today's video so let's go ahead and get started first thing school what you're going to school you're going to school you're going to do your work right okay so I get a lot of questions on my Instagram, my Snapchat, stuff like that. Follow me if you haven't already. A lot of y'all are asking about like the workload freshman year. Of course, it's your freshman year in high school. They're not going to overwork you, but you have to get used to like a new schedule, a bigger school, and a bigger environment just in a whole. So my freshman year was a little bit easier on me because my brother already attended the school that I was going to, so it was a little bit easier. I knew some things about my school. I have like visited um things like that so it was a little bit helpful to be around the school so i would know like what kind of environment i was going to be around and also people from my middle school is kind of like a if you go to this middle school you're like bound to go to this high school so i did know a lot of people who went to my school which was also another plus but that doesn't mean that those people that went to my school in middle school and we were buddy buddy does not mean we were going to be buddy buddy this year too so back to the environment kind of thing so how i like to describe it is middle school and high school are super super similar i would just say that high school is a bigger middle school so you have like your freshmen so like your sixth graders and then you have like your sophomores your seventh graders and then your juniors and seniors would be like your eighth graders right so it's pretty much the same thing you have just another class and it's just bigger so that's how i like to describe it of course like the higher you go junior senior you're going to get more work but that should gradually go on you should get more work each year so it's kind of like you're preparing yourself so i wouldn't really stress about the workload especially for freshman year now just because freshman year is your first year you don't get that much work the work may be easy that does not mean it's your time to slack off because even though I am going to be a sophomore this year, that doesn't mean that if I just goofed off last year that it wouldn't hurt my GPA because it definitely will. And to bring your GPA up is super, super hard. So I advise you to work your butt off freshman year. It'll show in your other years of high school. So it's just worth it. It's your first year anyway. You want to make a good impression. You want to make a good mark. If I were you. I would definitely take my work seriously. Turn your work in on time. This is not middle school or late work. It's just okay. Maybe it's not. It's going to hurt your grade. I promise it's going to hurt your grade. Also for freshman year and just high school in general, expect more quizzes and tests than like in middle school. You'll have a lot more. So expect more of those. Um, I didn't get a project last year, but you probably will have projects. You just like more work, but not like a lot. That you probably think. You probably think you're just going to be piled on, piled on just work piled on but that does depend on what classes you pick so my best advice to give to you is don't overwork yourself and I know if you're already in school and you already picked your schedule it's a little bit hard to change this but maybe you can learn from it in your other years in high school so don't put like too many honors or AP classes on your schedule if you know you're not going to be able to handle it yes you might look smart but honestly being in an honors class just means more work um Sometimes you could get like more advanced work, but for the most time it's just more work. And more work, we all know, equals more stress. So you're just really putting more on yourself that you don't need. So if you know that, oh, maybe I could just do regular English this year instead of doing AP English and having to do all these projects and all these presentations, all that good stuff. I know that freshmen, or at least at my school, can get into AP, but that's just an example. But don't put too much on your plate. 
freshman year especially because you do need your GPA to be like up here for freshman year to set the standard for the rest of the years you have in high school so I would recommend you know doing a few honors classes here and there I did the majority of my core classes were honors except for math because math is not my subject but other than that that was about it and that was easy for me that was pretty good for me and I did the same thing this year so I mentioned just a little bit before but your GPA is super super important y'all so make sure you try to honestly i'll just like do it this way i don't remember like the exact percentages but i believe it's like mm, i think something's like 40 percent of your grade and then like your exams are like another percent of your grade so all together it's all together it makes your letter grade or like if basically just if you pass the grade or not so the easiest way to pass your grade or honestly just to help yourself out is just maintaining that same letter grade all year. So if you have an A, try to maintain that A. It's okay if you go down to a B, but don't make it a habit where you go down to a C, where you go down to a D. Try to just remain a grade in that range. So don't try to like go all the way down. Keep it like right here. You know what I'm saying? Say you take an exam and you didn't really do so well. If you remained it that same grade or like around that same grade all year, it's going to really help you boost your grade up because it's all mixed in together. So your final grade and your exam grade are all combined to basically determine if you pass that class or not. So if you do keep that same or like around that same grade all year, it's going to help you out if you don't do too hot on your exam. Unlike middle school, your exams do count. So your finals are definitely going to count. Um, don't feel like it's the EOGs where you can just get a 2 or a 1 and you'll just pass. That's not how it works. You better hope that your final grade and your exam grade mix together somehow and get you promoted, okay? You better hope and pray. So please just don't goof off. Just help yourself out by just paying attention and turning in your work. That's what you're there for anyway. So just do it. So that's pretty much it for like the workload, the environment. Honestly, I would recommend going to orientation or just going to the school if y'all school is like open. You can like tour the school just to get like a better feel instead of just going like straight in, which can be really nerve wracking. So I would recommend if you have orientation, definitely go. It's not lame to go to orientation. You need to figure out your classes, baby. It's not stupid to go to orientation, but baby, it's going to be stupid when you're lost. You're going to be looking dumb. You're going to be looking around and I bet your bottom dollar you do not want to ask somebody where to go because you don't want to look like a freshman been there done that but at the end of the day next year I'm still not going to know where to go so it's all good baby everybody gets lost when they're a freshman it's a new school it's a big school so don't feel any kind of way if you get lost everybody gets lost find a route to go to your classes keep that route for the rest of the year don't try to switch it up be on time to class I don't care if you have upperclassmen friends and they're trying to tell you, oh baby, we have like two more minutes. You can we can go um like one minute before the bell rings, baby. Go to class on time, cause tardies start adding up. You don't want that, okay? I don't know about y'all school, but we have tardy sweet, baby. Three strikes and you're out detention. And I've been twice. Not my favorite thing in the world. So make sure you get to class on time, baby. It's not worth it, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it about like schoolwork the environment that kind of thing next topic what's the next topic friendships i said this in my middle school advice video i believe do not expect to hold on to those middle school friends now sometimes i'm not talking about every single this is not how every single situation goes or every scenario goes but for the most part nine times out of ten your friends or best friends that you had in middle school will not be your best friends in high school and it's not because you're fake or because y'all fell out or anything like that it's just because high school is a new environment there's more people for the most part high schools have more electives than middle school so you might meet people that have the same interests as you and you might just click or bond with them better so don't feel like any kind of way it just happens there isn't really like a discreet like oh i'm just done it's more of like a gradual kind of thing it just gradually happens you just like fade away or you just like you're not friends anymore um usually it doesn't just happen like in one sitting it just like gradually happens throughout the year you find new people you have new friends and that's just typically how it goes so i wouldn't get butt hurt about it if you want to hold on to that friendship you can try to restart it but i just wouldn't feel any kind of way about it it's just it happens to everybody now making friends i'm gonna just keep it real with y'all like i always do making friends really isn't my strong point because i'm a super shy person so 
um that's something that i'm working on this year so i'll let y'all know how it goes but um since i'm not the best at it i can't really give y'all tips like i want to because um freshman year is definitely a great opportunity to meet new people to make new friends that kind of thing um and don't be afraid to make friends with upperclassmen not all upperclassmen have that mindset that freshmen are childish or you can't talk to them kind of thing um i'm gonna get into that next like the high school stereotypes but just have fun y'all meet new people do things you know another tip about friendships is make sure you don't get super close to people that you know you're not going to be friends with meaning like don't tell people personal things um if you know you're probably not going to be friends with them another thing is that like people if they think you're all that if they think you're this if they think you're cute or whatever the case may be they honestly just want to get into your business so that they can tell other people and just spread it around so make sure you're really careful about who you tell personal things to make sure that you can trust them so as for the high school stereotypes there are a few of them some of them are true some of them are not true it really just depends on who it applies to and what it applies to first thing overclassmen don't like freshmen so that isn't completely true there are tons of overclassmen who have freshman friends not all freshmen are childish but a lot of them like a handful of them are really nobody wants to see kids running around playing tag baby we don't want to see that okay nobody wants to be here in the first place you're running around at seven o'clock in the morning whatever time you go to school eight o'clock it's too early i don't want to hear it and then like a few people few freshmen they just just be doing too much like don't be yelling screaming laughing all loud like it's really nobody wants to hear that so just keep it cool keep your composure everybody just wants to go home headphones are in and i'm just trying to get to class and get out that's just it period my second stereotype is that seniors want the freshmen now that's very true so my ladies especially my ladies that like to drip out wear the lashes the little tight skirts you got your bundles your lashes your nails all that you look cute you know you look cute of course these boys are gonna think you look cute but baby keep walking you do not have time it's your freshman year honey these boys are about to be 18 you're 14 about to be 15 it's just not acceptable okay they have full grown beards and you're like this small let's not do it these seniors don't do not want you i cannot stress that enough they don't want you they want one thing and you know what it is so just don't be stupid just save yourself the trouble and if you're walking down the hallway you hear hey hey keep walking so yes that is very true a lot of upperclassmen not just seniors juniors too try to holler at the freshmen but you know baby we're better than that we don't have time okay but i mean it's your relationship so honestly you can do what you want to do i'm just giving you my advice and to add to my little stereotype was high school is nothing like how it's portrayed on tv or like on movies so don't feel like you're gonna get thrown in a locker in a trash can that doesn't happen baby we can really like i said a million times we just want to go home we can really care less so none of that stuff happens there's like cliques and stuff i mean i could you, i guess you could say that there are different cliques but not how they're portrayed on tv high school is really nothing like tv so yes also speaking of my cute girls who are dripped down super cute at school just be aware there are going to be girls who don't like you think you're stuck up think you're all that you know everything you can think of honestly just don't pay attention to it just go one ear out the other it's really not they're just jealous of you and honestly most of the time jealousy is just from something that's within themselves and they're not happy with themselves and they think that you're all that baby because you are so don't let what they're saying knock you down any kind of way they want to get a reaction out of you so some of my girls who are like kind of feisty at the mouth fighting isn't cute at all it's just not cute at all i don't care if they say oh you're scary or whatever the case may be first of all you look crazy baby now you have five nails that are broken your tracks are slipping you look a fool because you want to fight somebody over what they said on social media you have to be more mature than this it's just not worth it so you can call me scary this that whatever you want to say it's just not worth my while baby it's not so just don't feed into that y'all just keep doing what you're doing they want to look how you look baby and that's just that on that period so keep it going keep doing what you're doing and keep looking cute and don't be out here my girls don't be out here thinking it's cute to act dumb in class to make bad grades because it's not it's nothing better than a pretty girl who's smart that's just that's just where is that right there everybody likes that come on you're pretty and you have good grades you're smart come on 
So that's, that's what we're striving for. Stay out of drama, stay out of gossip. Pretty obvious. Like, it's just really not worth your while. It might be entertaining or interesting at the time, but later on, like, years down the road, you'll be like, what were you arguing about? We weren't arguing about anything. So, honestly, what's the point? I don't get the point. That's not what I'm coming to school for. So I could really care less about what her, her, what she doing, what she doing, what she doing. I don't care. I'm not here for y'all. So I really touched based on relationships already. Um, I just want to let y'all know, like I said in my middle school advice, I'll have that in the eye if any of y'all are still in middle school, but some of these things still apply to middle school. Which is why I keep referencing that video so much, but high school, middle school, doesn't matter. Those relationships are not going to last forever, so don't be discouraged or feel bad or whatever if something doesn't last and you thought it was. Which is why I really don't think y'all should be wrapped up in relationships, especially freshman year. You have so much more to focus on and boys are going to be here for a very very long time so don't even bother don't waste your time i just recommend y'all to just focus on your grades if you do sports if you do youtube whatever you do focus on that in school don't focus on boys like i said they're going to be here for a while they're going to be here for a very long time so don't worry about them honestly especially um the upperclassmen i'm just i just gotta keep bringing them up okay they're just gonna try to say whatever they can they're gonna try to sweet talk you just to get you into doing what they want to do and that's another thing why i really don't think underclassmen and upperclassmen should be together i can't say what anybody can do in their relationship i'm just saying personally because a lot of them don't have the same mindset as younger people obviously they want to do other things that you're probably not ready to do and i don't want to be i don't want any of y'all to be like in a predicament where you're forced to do something that you don't want to do so make sure you know how to say no first off and second off just make sure you don't put yourself in a situation where that could happen anyway um just be safe with your relationship y'all also another thing for relationships please do not send pictures out please don't do it it's gonna go around the whole school i don't care what he says anything like that just don't do it you're gonna just save yourself by not doing that so please don't do that y'all don't be dumb and naive just don't do it but yeah for the most part that's really all i have to say about relationships as for my last little kind of thing um well not my last thing i do have like a few other little topics that i'm gonna pop in this little video but as for extracurriculars and things like that i would really really advise y'all to do that i wish i did that my freshman year that's something i would change join clubs if you can join teams like if you want to play a sport go out to the games the football games basketball games honestly just interact you'll have so much of a better um high school experience if you were active if you were doing things you know so i honestly wish i would have went to more football games went to this went to that go to homecoming you know like just do stuff like that if you have a dance coming up go to it it doesn't really matter if people say oh that's lame baby go have fun you only get to be in high school once so make the best out of your experience and then my last and final segment is hygiene which is super super important y'all super important especially when you're in high school you do not want to be caught musty you don't want to be caught with stank breath baby you don't want to be caught stinking at all period especially because most of the freshmen have to do gym their freshman year and not for the rest of the years but some schools do have you do it all four years my school doesn't so make sure you have your essentials make sure you have wipes make sure you have deodorant spray lotion gum all that stuff get in the shower every day wash your face and brush your teeth in the morning like this is not a drill it's not a joke you don't want to be that person that's just getting laughed at because you stink you don't want it it will happen i'm not kidding if you stink baby somebody's gonna tell you i'm thinking about doing a school hygiene video so if y'all want that i'll bring that for y'all but back to the gym please do not put spray or deodorant over sweat just change out just change out really honestly you're just gonna look crazy trying to be cool by not changing out change out your clothes you're gonna be sweating all over your clothes for gym um don't do that so just bring an extra pair of clothes and then wipe your sweat off with a wipe or a wet paper towel whatever works for you do that let it dry a little bit then put your deodorant on do not put deodorant over sweat that is just so disgusting so the next time you use that deodorant it's going to smell like sweat and it's just going to be putting must on that's just after that then spray your perfume on don't spray too much you don't want to smell like you just you're the whole bath and body works store we don't need that we just need a little spritz spritz and keep it going that's all you need when you change your clothes make sure you're freshen up after gym because you don't really stink please 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 bring gum or mint we don't want to smell your stink breath okay 
Brushing your teeth in the morning is not enough. It's not going to last you all day, especially after lunch. So bring some gum and bring it in. So that's all the freshman advice I have for y'all. Pretty much, I explained my experience throughout the video. So I did have a great freshman year. And that is it for today's video. I really hope y'all found this helpful. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel for more back to school videos. And follow me on my social medias if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.